So guys, this month's Stadia Pro games are ready to claim. We see two new game releases on the platform and there is a new UI update in the Stadia web store. And don't forget guys, if you enjoy this video, please hit that like button as it would really help the channel out. And without wasting any more time, let's jump into the video. So our May Pro games are ready to claim and we have four new games to add to our library. And we did see an early leak on three games that were coming and they were Outriders, Paw Patrol the Movie, Adventure City Calls and Lumote. And then we did get a late confirmation that K's and the Wild Masks was getting added to this month's Pro lineup. This is a great indie title with lots of positive feedback and is a great addition to this month's Pro lineup. Now I think this is another solid month of Pro games that we have received from Stadia as we have been getting at least one AAA title for the past two months. This month being Outriders and last month we got two AAA games that being World War Z Aftermath and Monstrum Nox 9. And both of these games are great additions to the Pro lineup and make the Pro subscription that much more worth it. Now last month we were supposed to receive four Pro titles but unfortunately Deliver Us to the Moon had got delayed and there was no word from Stadia or Wild Productions when the game is set to release. So on top of that we had two new game releases, one of which went straight to the Stadia Pro lineup and that was Lumote. We also saw the release of a great arcade classic in my opinion and I had spent a lot of time with this in the arcade when I was a kid and that is the House of the Dead remake. Now people were asking how this game was going to be played as typically in the arcade you would have had a gun that you point at a screen and shoot at your targets. There was a rumour of motion control was being added to Stadia and some people were thinking it would make sense for this to come when the game was released. But unfortunately motion control did not make an appearance so it will be down to using the controllers that you are already using. And for me this would feel very unnatural as I am so used to playing with guns like in the arcade and even back down to when it was out on previous consoles you could buy an external gun to make it as if you were playing in the arcade. So until motion controls are added, I think for the time being, I'm going to hang fire on buying this one. And hopefully we will see motion controls added in the very near future. So last up for the video guys, there has been an update to the UI in the Stadia web store. And this is to better showcase free trials, Stadia Pro games and even sales. Now as you can see, this new design looks really clean and gives you all the purchase options for the title that you have selected. It tells you if there's a trial available. It also tells you the cash price option and if it's available to claim as a Stadia Pro title. There was even a reminder that I had a £10 voucher off my next game purchase. So what do you guys think? Let me know in the comments down below what you think of this new redesign. And that's it for this video guys. I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you guys in the next one.